What's up guys? Today I wanted to get a definitive answer. Which smartphone has the best camera? So we're out here in the Pacific Northwest and I'm gonna be comparing the Samsung Galaxy S8 to the iPhone 7 Plus to the LG G6, the Google Pixel and the OnePlus 3T. So we're gonna be doing a wide variety of tests and of course I'm gonna be cropping things just a little bit but overall you're just gonna get a good idea of how these picture wise, color wise, compare quality wise and we're gonna do more tests, focus, low light, slow motion, bit of everything all in one video. So just wanted a really nice conclusive result on which camera does what best and in what way. So yeah, we built this rig. It's not pretty, but it does the job. It's not easy filming with five phones and then comparing them, I'll tell you that. So let's go ahead and jump in and just get a good idea of this. Uh, let's start with a motion test and then move on. All right, so we're doing a little stability test here. We're driving in the car, got some tight turns, and I kind of want to see which one captures motion a little bit better. And holding them all on the same platform isn't going to be the same as you holding them uh, individually. We're eating some potholes voluntarily here. And uh, let's see which one's bouncing around. It's really hard for me to tell because I'm driving, but post-processing, maybe I'll take a look and see which one is doing a little bit better. I mean, Apple did a really well job with the uh, the color, the natural color too. Like, you know what I mean? The color? The color looks just like from my eyes, but it looks really dull. Yeah, that's the thing about color reproduction on cameras. Real life itself is pretty dull and boring, so a lot of phone manufacturers want to make it a little bit more popping and add more fake colors, you could say, to it. The S8's oversaturated. It's the most yeah. saturated out of all of these. The, the colors after, the, so after the good. iPhone, which one to you seems more... Uh, the most natural? Yeah, through the screen. But then again, remember, these screens are all different. The they're one on the... The OLED, they're yeah. going to they're gonna show them on the screen itself a little bit different. Yeah, it goes iPhone, then uh, the one on the very right, which one is that? Uh, that's the OnePlus. And then the one in the middle? That's the LG G6. And then the one on the right, and then the Galaxy. All right, we're going to go walk a little here. So this is just a quality test. I'm going to do some walking and give you guys an idea of how this looks. So to give you an idea, the sun is setting in about an hour. So we got a good amount of sunlight left. It's not quite low light, but we can get a good idea of the quality. So uh, look good on the camera, man. <laughs> Your good side. It'll turn around. Um, <laughs> you actually do that again. Stand in front of the camera. Get a little silhouette. Yeah. So what I can tell right now with a subject and a light in the background, the iPhone and Galaxy seem to show you very well. The LG is a little grainy. The Google Pixel is a little dark. Yeah, that's kind of amazing, actually. That's nice. Your little man bun man <laughs> going on there. My trash bag. Trash bag. Yeah, it looks good. Um, so some already do that. It's a little bit better. Discern the difference between light and dark and a subject. Here we go. Let's do a light to dark transition. So this is a very light palette of grass going up to the sunlight. Oh my gosh. Actually... Which one do you think has the smoothest transition? I can't really tell. The iPhone for sure doesn't. Let me see. I mean, they're all good. Yeah, they're all good, but the iPhone has this chop and it's that exposure issue. Light to dark, there's a chop. Dark light, it's probably a dark light. Software. It is software and that's what annoys me. I don't know, I've emailed Apple. I've literally tried to get in contact with representatives that said they would pass it along. And look at this, iOS 10.3.1, and it's still here. That is so frustrating. So this thing certainly has an issue going from light to dark that is not present on any of the other phones. All right, so I wanna do a stabilization test while running. I'm gonna start with walking and then slowly up the motion here. So just down this path with a bunch of gravel here just going to walk normally and it looks pretty good the galaxy is so incredibly stable and i am going to start jogging here quite a bit of motion on the pixel man that does not look good 
Yeah, so that's the motion we're looking at here. Pixel is all over the place. Otherwise not bad. Panning shots. This is all in 4K 30. So they should be even. I want to get a focus test. So we're going to go off the subject and on it. Off and on. This is going to be really hard for me to tell which is faster at focusing, but seems to be pretty good. Galaxy is near instant. iPhone hesitates, not as fast as the Galaxy. G6, uh, not so good there. Pixel is actually really sharp with the focus. That's amazing. And the OnePlus 3T is about as fast as the iPhone. It hesitates for a second as it finds the subject. So not too bad up to down yeah so the iphone and oneplus 3t seem to be hesitating lg g6 is even doing pretty good all right so this is just an idea of the zoom now all the cameras right now are fully zoomed out notice the lg g6 just how much lens it has the how wide the lens is it feels like i'm way further back than the other ones anyways zooming in eight times on the galaxy that's what it looks like this is eight times on the iPhone in just a little bit here. Oh, I can only go six on video. So max zoom test and the Galaxy, or I mean the LG G6, pretty stable, wow. And then the Pixel and the OnePlus 3T. So OnePlus 3T can't really zoom in that much. Uh, I'd say the Galaxy zooms in the most, but the quality looks to be pretty good on the iPhone. It actually is the only one here that has optical zoom, I believe. So. Yeah, that's quite impressive there. It's pretty grainy, yeah, on the Galaxy. On all others, it's not too bad. The LG G6 doesn't look too good. And taking a look at the mountains in the background, wow, the Galaxy is grainy. And stability-wise, though, the LG G6 and uh, Galaxy seem to be doing the best here. Pixel is really juddery. iPhone isn't too stable. All right, now you guys get to see all of my angles. Whoa, the LG is ghosting. Is that just me? It looks so strange. So I'm going to try and get a little motion in here. The LG is looking like a dump. What the heck? So I'm just going to turn around for you just so you guys can see the transition here. Light, dark. Uh, the OnePlus 3T is really eager to always shade my face dark. I have no idea why that is. Overall, though, with a direct light behind me. I'm not sure why the LG G6's front camera is so ugly looking right now. And it's in the highest resolution. So there's my cameraman for the day. And I'll just give you a scenery shot here. Give you some colors. Man, the LG doesn't look good. All right, so that is the front facing camera. Bit disappointed in the LG's. Overall, they do all seem pretty good. The OnePlus 3T isn't doing so hot here itself. Uh, let's go shoot some guns. So this is sort of a dimly lit area, just to give you guys another idea. Um, it's still dark, but it's not terrible. LG has a hard time with the light. Like the quality is good, but you can't really make out too much. Galaxy is a little best of both worlds, but still a bit grainy. The iPhone is very good, a little bit darker than the Galaxy, but still you can make out a lot of detail and quality there. The Pixel is horrendous here. It looks awful, I wouldn't want that video anywhere. G6 to dark and OnePlus 3T is uh, better than the Google Pixel, I'll tell you that. So, still pretty good. For a budget phone, the OnePlus 3T is not doing bad. Let's go down to the dock, and I think that's it for the low light test here. Overall, yeah, you get a sacrifice. Either you make out more light in less detail or vice versa. All right, so here's some low light movement for you guys. Just want to see what these look like in the dark once we start moving. 
man the g6 is a little too dark i want to see if there's anything i could do to make that brighter but it doesn't really look like it wow the pixel is so bad here the one plus three t you can barely make out what's going on the galaxy's grainy but still make out a pretty decent amount yeah this is going to be really hard to see anything usable footage at this point i don't know you can kind of see them but don't be expecting to film anything useful with this that you can actually use so against the bridge there that actually looks kind of cool cool shot all right i think that's it for the low light guys gave you a good idea in several situations of what it looks like i'd have to say the winner here man it's going to be a cross between the iPhone and the Galaxy S8 and the LG G6 in third place. So guys, there it is. That's my comprehensive review of the top five smartphones right now and their cameras. And here's just a couple of parting shots for your enjoyment in the dark and in the light. So all of these do have their own strengths and weaknesses, but I gotta say when it comes to the best, the top three here are the LG G6, the iPhone, and the Samsung Galaxy. You know, the OnePlus 3, an honorable mention as usual, the camera is not far behind, but still it's a budget phone. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, peace.